today we have an interesting video for you. I am actually with our general manager, Valerie Chambers. We are going to go over the differences that a house that wows you versus just a house that is, that is usable, that is functional. Hey guys, James Wise and Valerie Chambers of Holton Wise. You guys are looking at these properties and I get it, you're looking at your spreadsheets. You're like, okay, my current rent is $9.50 a month. If I spend an extra $6,000, I can increase my rent $60 bucks a month. That doesn't pencil out to the best return on my investment. But I want you guys to really start looking at the bigger picture when we're talking about real estate investing. I want you guys to really see that it's not always about that specific menial small rental increase when you spend money. Sometimes it's about reducing your turnover, which we know that turnover is a return killer, guys. Not an extra $50 a month. $50 a month is only $600 a year. As you guys know, whenever you talk to Valerie, it's because there's probably a turnover coming. And I know, Valerie, turnover costs are a hell of a lot more than $600. Is that correct? That is correct. As you know, I'm Valerie Chambers and I'm the general manager in Holton Wise. A uh, quick little story about the house we're standing in today. I actually closed on this house yesterday. So this is not a rental home. This is my personal home. <laughs> It is located here in Parma where a lot of you have rental houses. It's super important that you are looking at what kind of tenant is going to be living in your home. You want somebody that's gonna take care of it and that's gonna stay. I couldn't agree more, Valerie. Guys, when we, you know, when Valerie goes out and she reaches out to you and says, hey, you know, Mr. Investor, unfortunately your tenant is moving out. Here is the renovation cost. It's gonna be $3,000 to get a new tenant in this property. And we're gonna to continue to rent that property for $9.50. However, on top of that $3,000, if you want to spend another $5,000, we can go with a high-end look and really get a high-quality tenant. And you guys are looking at Valerie, you see it, Valerie, aren't they always like, but how much is that gonna increase the rent? Isn't that their first question to you? Yeah, absolutely. And that is the wrong question, guys. Looking at Valerie and saying, okay, if I spend an additional $5,000, but it's only gonna increase my rent 100 bucks, why bother? Well guys, you're not bothering to do that to make an extra $600 a year. That's not why you do it. You're doing it to avoid the next email or phone call from Valerie telling you the family that you were renting your property to moved out. Look at this kitchen, guys. We have brand new shaker cabinets. We have brand new hardware, stainless steel appliances, beautiful granite countertops, undermount sink. This is totally different than a functional rental. Do you want a kitchen that when the family, the tenants, whoever it is, walks into it, they look at it and they're like, wow, this is where I get to live, this is gonna be amazing, or do you just wanna provide these people something that they go, eh, I think we could live here, this will be okay. Who do you think is gonna move out sooner? Somebody that was just wowed when they walked into the property or somebody who said, man, this is the best available, only gonna stay there until a better opportunity arises, guys. And you're gonna lose money when that happens every time. Do you want a family that's gonna stay here for five, seven, 10 years? That's how you make money in the rental business, guys. You guys are looking at your spreadsheets too much. You're looking at it like, oh, $3,000 renovation, $9.50 in rent. If I add another $5,000 but only increase my property value $100 a month in rent, that doesn't pencil on to the appropriate return. Guys, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Spreadsheets don't rent properties. Tenants rent properties and tenants do not read your spreadsheets. Reverse engineer it. How do you Get rid of turnover. Turnover is your return killer. How do you eliminate your return killer? Take a look at Valerie, for instance. 
Valerie bought this house in the same neighborhood that you guys are renting it because you were wow. Just that feeling of just, yes, this is what I want to call home. Val, what was your favorite part of this house? Undoubtedly, it was the updated open concept. As a single mom, I can both be cooking dinner in the kitchen while keeping an eye on my children playing and doing their homework so I can ensure that they're safe. The feeling I got walking into here is in stark contrast to, and then you find yourself in with kitchens such as these. Similar house, similar area, similar rental income. Exactly, guys. This, this kitchen right here, this is absolutely a functional kitchen. Will people rent this house? Yes. Will the owner get over $900 a month in rent? Absolutely. But literally, ask yourself, do you feel the same way standing in this kitchen that you felt in, in Valerie's kitchen? Val, do you feel the same way? No. Absolutely. I, I'm not wowed by this kitchen, guys. And look, I mean, honestly, you guys, I own hundreds of properties. I manage millions of dollars worth of properties. I'm not actually wowed by any real estate, but what I am wowed by is money. And I know that a house like this is going to have a lot more turnover, which is going to cost the investor a lot more money. So if you're like me and you're wild by money, you need to do one thing and that's reduce your turnover. Just, just look here, right? This cabinet, is it functional? Yes. Does it work? Yes. But does it have, you know, a nice new modern color? No. This is a dated wood color. If you were building a new home or trying to buy a new home, you know, putting a picture of a house in a magazine, this is not the color you would use. This countertop, it's just a Formica, it's just a green, it's just no longer in style. This, this sink right here, this white sink with this faucet, this is not what's in. Valerie's house, it had granite. The sink was undermount. It was that nice, large, modern look with that beautiful backsplash. This is just like a piece of vinyl backsplash. Like, the space right here, guys, this is great space. People are gonna pay, the pay, but no one is wow. I mean, look at my, look at the floor. Okay. Again, see the floor functional? Yes. Is it horrendous? Absolutely not. Will it work? Of course. But if we're gonna beat down that turnover, we need to give people the floor they think about when they close their eyes and they picture their dream kitchen. This floor, this kitchen. While functional as it may be, this is not it. And the layout of this home, yeah, it's okay, but it's choppy. You know, we walk right into a wall. Val, in your house, your house was originally kind of structured choppy like that, but of course it's no longer like that. Right, they opened it up a lot, which again, as a single mom is huge. Cooking dinner in there, kids playing in here. I don't have the same ability to keep an eye on them and make sure everything's okay while I'm cooking dinner. Similar to the bathroom, functionality versus wow. This bathroom, it'll work. Wash my hands, brush my teeth, take a shower. But there is no wow here. There's no stay power here. There's nothing that makes me just want to make this my home. This outdated vanity on the wall medicine cabinet, light fixture, the white tub surround, it's just not wow. It's not what I think about when I'm envisioning my dream home. It's nothing like this. Can't you feel the difference already just being in here? The old bathroom, like, what are you really gonna do saving money on a new vanity? Do you really think that $80 vanity that the previous owner bought from Home Depot in 1995 is gonna make anybody proud to live there? Look at the vanity, look at how this feels and looks, both in person, in video, in pictures. This is what people wanna see. And it's only about $300, guys. The tub shower surround here. Okay, instead of that same old, tired, one-piece vinyl kit, you spend a few extra hundred bucks on these tiles, and you're going to get people that are going to want to stay. If you get a family to stay here for one extra year instead of moving out, you've already recouped the entire cost. The floor, look at this floor. This is a brand new modern and updated floor. You've got to give people what they want. You're going to make that money back. These are typically longer term investments. You can't just look at the immediate return. What is gonna keep bodies in my units? How do I avoid the inevitable turnover? It doesn't matter who rented your property. When someone moves out, there will be a turnover cost. 
A home does not look the same when someone moves out and then it goes empty and a new person sees it. You're always going to have to spruce it up. So we need to cut out turnovers. This is how you do it, guys. How you guys feel in Valerie's house versus how you felt in that other house, how you feel in this bathroom, that's how your tenants are going to feel. How this looks in this video compared to how the other house looked in this video, the tenants get that same feeling. When they're inviting their friends and family over, they need to give them something that they can be proud of. You, you produce that for them, they will reward you by staying. I want to hit it again. Spreadsheets do not rent properties. Tenants rent properties and tenants don't read your spreadsheets. This is a people business, guys. It's not exactly a numbers business. Yes, the numbers are important, but at the end of the day, we are dealing with people. You got to give people what they want. As always, guys, I'm James Wise. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned from this video, please like the video, follow us on the Holton Wise YouTube, Facebook pages. We're gonna be pumping out content like this. I wanna teach you people that you know how to grow your net worth with real estate investing. If you have a property that you'd like to sell, whether you're local here in Cleveland or you're out of state but you own a Cleveland property, go ahead and reach out to Holton Wise. We can produce a high quality video just like this. We are the number one seller of rental properties in the entire greater Cleveland area. Cuyahoga County, look up the statistics. You will see that we are number one. That is factual, that is not candor, that is not sales sizzle, that is fact, because we know what we're doing, this is all we do. James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. This beautiful, brand new, modern, you're not, you're not going with me. <laughs> That was way too late. <laughs> the layout works. Now the house that you're supposed to come with me. <laughs> <laughs> walk in and be like, wow, 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 wow. Stainless steel countertop. Do this one. Ah! This. You can go 